Hello. I don't want to hide from death. I want to accept it. Me in this graveyard. Well, me in graveyards in general, okay? We go way back. Since I was a youth, I would go to them by myself and write songs and poetry inside of them. Yes, I know that that's highly annoying. It also explains a lot as to why I am the way I am now. This is my city's graveyard, okay? My relationship with this graveyard might be the closest one in my life. Is that sad? No. Could be argued that this is disrespectful. I disagree. Me and this graveyard are so in sync. I believe in celebrating death, celebrating life, celebrating all we have to offer. In that, it's time for guacamole. Any ghost interaction during this time, all we all gotta do, say hey, howdy, hey, tip, tip of our hat, sign, it's a sign of respect. I wouldn't say no to a shallow bow, no need to go deep. Let's not overcompensate. A shallow bow to the ghosts and on our way. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, time for guacamole. Okay, look what we got here. It is a child-sized zebra print suitcase. Come on to a graveyard. Time for guacamole. I want some lime, I want some zest, I want some freshness in my day. Time for a summery bite in the winter. And the ghosts join in. Ghosts, let me hear you. Yeah, you, you, you can hear them, use your imagination. All right, a lot of crows. A lot of crows over there. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of crows, okay. No, it's not ominous at all, no. It, it's great. First thing to, uh, to chippity chop, to mats, all right. Uh, in this scenario, it's good to have aroma. All right, aroma tomato, okay? They're more fleshy. These are on the vine. I'm not listening to my own advice. They looked more red. It's hard to get a good tomato when it's not the summer, okay? When you have a summertime tomato, homegrown tomatoes, John Denver, you know what I'm talking about. Whole different ball game, okay? Get the reddest tomatoes you can find. You know what's sad, you know what's pathetic? Go to a restaurant, okay? You order a burger, okay? They're gonna throw a tomato on there. Tip top, tip top, timmy tomato, throw it on there, right? A burger arrives, high quality burger. Craggly edges, that's a yes, okay? High quality cheese. Don't talk to me about craft singles. Give me a good cheese, okay? Red Moonster, wouldn't say no, right? Potato bun, soft, buttered, toasted. That's a yes, okay? And then the tomato, it's not red. It's what only can be referred to as a very, very, very pastel shade of pink. This isn't a baby girl's bedroom, okay? It's a tomato, okay? Don't put a tomato on there if it's gonna be that color. That's pathetic. The crows are on top of my head. I want you to know, crows, I respect all you do. The most important thing about cutting tomatoes is a sharp knife, okay? I can't stress that enough. Cut your tomatoes with a dull boy, okay, you're gonna smash them up, they're gonna be horrible. Tomatoes are always on the brink of being mealy. Don't let them become that, okay? Let them be their best self. This knife is probably from the dollar store. This sharpener is definitely from the dollar store. Dollar store is great. Just make sure it's sharp. I wear a lot of jewels, okay, they're all fake, okay? I'm not really fancy. I'm what they call fake fancy. I'm what they call used to be poor, so now it's trying to overcompensate by looking more fancy, but it's all fake, all right? This knife was purchased in 2008 by my roommate at the time, Nick Williams, okay? Maybe his uncle gave it to I don't know where this knife came from, but I stole it for sure. And now it's mine, I'm using it since the end of time. It's horrible, but it doesn't matter because I got my dollar store knife sharpener, ship sharp. Who cares, no one's the wiser, right? Right. Sharpen, uh -huh. I love you guys. You guys know I love you guys, right? He feel it. You know I love it here. You know I love you guys. I love it here so much. I could cry if I talk about it too much. Anyway, ship sharp. Uh, be sure to clean your knife well. You know, it's probably bad to eat metal scraps. Clean as a whistle. Probably doesn't need to be said, but a small dice. An adorable dice, okay? Nothing but adorable. Or it's, of course, trash. Tomatoes and onion. Oh. I like things onion -y, okay? Said it once, say it before, say it a million times. I want a punch. I want flavor. I've made things with three kinds of onions in it. Can't be said enough, onion. The extreme cold is free seizing my hands up and then the moisture from the vegetables and fruits is uh, sticking to my hands and then that moisture is freezing, which is making my dice significantly more ugly than it would otherwise. And I just wanna say that right off the bat. I know it gave a lot of shade to an ugly dice. I am indulging in an ugly dice and that just, it's a lesson to be learned. You know, we shouldn't judge people. You never know what the circumstances are. Sometimes when you're dicing in a graveyard, it gets a little chilly. And that's something we should all take into account, right? Let's not jump to conclusions about why people's chopping is ugly. A lesson in tolerance for all of us. Chippy chop, chippy chop. Chippy chop chop chop. Into the bowl it goes, okay? Cilantro, coriander. Don't be a little bitch 
when it comes to this herb. Don't be a little bitch when it comes to every herb, but don't be a little bitch, especially when it comes to cilantro. If you think it tastes like soap, okay, that's fine. Tongues are different, you're wrong. Apparently it's in people's DNA to think that cilantro is soapy. What a waste of a DNA strand. I mean, God. Let's love both of each other for one second. Love you, love you, you know I do. Talk to you all the time, love a prayer. A lot of cool stuff you do, fan. Okay, Stan, perhaps. Putting detesting cilantro into a DNA strand. Just gonna throw it out, waste of time. Waste of time! All of it, that's a yum. Green, okay? Freshness, okay? Sand, maybe. Risk you how to take. Okay. My hand. I'm completely comfortable, except for my stupid little hand. Oh, it's so oniony. That's okay, right? That's not so bad. If your glove smells like onion. Someone tell me right now, if my glove smells like onion, will someone still date me okay that's all i need to know yes i will thank you look i can, we can lie to ourselves and i can tell you that i'll wash this glove now that i've put my onion hand in it i'm not going to wash it i'm not going to wash it okay so i'm just hoping i'm taking the risk that someone out there will still date me even though i have an onion glove life is about risks okay greater the risk greater the reward got to be an onion girl out there somewhere this is the worst coriander chop i've ever done but um you get the picture right avocados okay avocados we wait till the end, right? Because say it with me, oxidization. I don't know if that's how you say it. It doesn't matter. Browning. Air plus avocado flesh turns to brown and that's no, no. It means it's less fresh and we want freshness. Life is about freshness and death. I have a specific way I like to eat guacamole, okay? I'm not gonna stand here and say this is the only way to eat guacamole. No, people have different tongues. All right, this is my tongue's ultimate guacamole. Of course, in my opinion, it's the best one and all the others are trash. That's just speaking from my tongue, right? Blech. Bag and slide, right? I got a technique, okay? I don't want to smash, 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 mash, mash, mash. I believe it compromises some integrity. I want texture, okay? I want loveliness. I want to see a dice, that's what I'm saying, okay? I want to see beauty. I want to see structure. I want to see thought. I want to see care, okay? And this is what this is, all right? Dice, 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 inside the boy, right? Okay, dice, 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 dice. You do a halfway scoop with the spoon. It's a scoop, scoop, scoop. Two layers, okay? Even chunks, right? Chunks. There's now avocado on my hand and I am going to put it back inside the glove just to make this clear to anyone who I date in the future. My glove is not only oniony, it is also avocado-y and that's something you need to be okay with. All right, look at this pretty bitch. Okay, now it's time to zesty, zesty. The outside can see hard and tough, but get a zester and what flavor lies inside? It's like an angry old man. And he says, I don't like things the way that they are right now. And you're like, wait, what about the zester? And you grate his skin until he's nice. I have some controversial opinions that I feel we're at the point where I can share with you. Some people like to put cumin into their guac, right? I'm slightly anti-cumin. Not even that I don't like it, okay? A toasted cumin seed? I mean, yum. Throw in some paprika, throw in some cayenne, a little coriander seed, a little hibbity hobby, a little hibbity hobbity. Hey, hey, that, that, that's a yum. But here's the thing. When you go to uh, art school of any kind, you tend to be surrounded by a lot of hippies. Okay, great. These hippies tend to, uh, not to generalize, but to completely generalize, um, find one spice and put it on top of everything. It's a lot of overcooked vegetables on top of rice with too much of one low quality spice that has not been properly bloomed. And uh, that's my experience with cumin. And enough is enough, and I won't stand for it anymore. Oh, there she blows. Oh, zest in my sock. Zest in my sock. Goes without being said, you need it to be limey, okay? Don't pussyfoot around. Just like as you shouldn't be afraid of death, also do not be afraid of flavor. Huh? They liked it. I'm gonna say you're gonna need the zest of three limes, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. The zest of me, the zest of you, the zest of my pee pee, the zest of mom, the zest of dad, the zest of no one's poo. I, I, I'm gonna say you're gonna want the juice of two limes, all right? Roll, roll in your hands, crush that shit. Loosen the membranes, loosen the juices, right? Juicy, juicy, juice that juice and juice it. Avocados need salt, okay? Potatoes. Avocados, pasta, the flavor carriers, right? You gotta season, my dudes. Do I oversalt? 
one out of every four meals I make, sure. But it's worth it. Just when you think you ought to stop, don't. Three salts, 17 salts. A hundred salts, 400 salts. How many salts, infinity salts? Okay, hot sauce, okay? I got opinions about hot sauce, surprise, surprise. I mean, I'm not against a vinegar sauce in the right context. If you want an extreme sourness, slap it on. If you don't, be thoughtful. I want sauce with flavor. Maybe it's controversial. I don't want pain. I'm a little bitch. I'm a pathetic little baby bitch boy, okay? I don't want pain, I want pleasure. I always want pleasure. Sometimes my friends like to play this game where we, where we arm wrestle each other, even though we already know who's the strongest, it's been proven, I'm weak, okay? Whatever, get over it. So we wanna arm wrestle. I like, I enjoy watching them arm wrestle. It's fun, and you cheer, hey, hey, who's gonna win, whoa, whoa. And then they're like, okay, Amelia, it's your turn. I don't wanna do it, no, it hurts. It's gonna hurt my elbow. I'm gonna bang my hand on the thing because I'm inevitably gonna lose, duh. Because I don't care, I don't care. I don't, I don't want pain, I don't want displeasure in any way, you know what I mean? I'll exercise, I'll exercise in a pleasant calm way as though I'm a nine-year-old woman right this sauce it's not made for pain it's made for flavor I want balance okay I like spicy I like spicy I don't like pain I like balance okay put this into taste and uh, of course mix time to plate heebity hubbity heebity hoobity habity hibity oh a little pile a little pile of sweetness sweetness and love that's what it is okay they say you cook to nurture people, okay? I'm here to nurture the ghosts. Hey, but do you have any? Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God. Remember what I said about, um, you know, I'm not gonna claim that this is the best guacamole ever. Everyone has different tongues. No, forget that. This is the only guacamole. Every other guacamole is horrible. Oh. Mm. Education comes in the most unexpected of places. Next time you are practicing knife skills in mid-December in a graveyard, now you know. Now we all know, and that's what I'm here for, is um, to teach us the lessons that we all need to move forward with our lives on our highest path. And thusly, guacamole. <laughs>